mechanical energy of a mass spring system. In this lab, you will be looking at a motion detector, which is hanging from a spring, which is hanging from a force sensor. After giving the motion detector a slight oscillation, you will be able to directly measure the force of the spring and the position of the motion detector. And from there, work out all the mechanical energy of this system. When you are taking your data, a couple things that you need to be careful about. First, the motion detector has a larger field of view than you think it does. I would recommend having a space of at least three feet by three feet, one meter by one meter, centered under the detector that is completely clear of feet, book bags, chairs, things like that. If you are ever getting data that seems to jump around, that is always the motion detector sees your foot, it doesn't see your foot. It sees your bag, it doesn't see your bag. And that's the differences in position. You will also need to make sure that the cord is not providing any tension or ever swinging under the motion detector, because that's also going to mess up your data. You are also going to want to make sure that you are not doing particularly aggressive bounces. This only needs to oscillate five to 10 centimeters about the displacement of your hand. That's as large as the oscillations need to be to get this measurement to work. Lastly, make sure that you have zeroed everything when you are supposed to zero it and don't zero it when you are not supposed to. You have two different sensors and different places that you might think are zero position or zero tension. And if you get those wrong or change those while you're doing things, you can get some very odd looking data. So be mindful of what conditions you're supposed to have when you zero the force sensor. And you never need to zero the motion detector. But if you accidentally do, you're going to need to think about how to re-zero it correctly so that it thinks that when it is against the floor, it has a position of zero. Thank you for watching this video. Here's a fun fact. The ancient alien hypothesis is racism wrapped in pseudoscience. Its entire basis is that there's no way those primitive brown people could have been that smart. It must have been aliens.